Hi, I'm Darren from Now Boys, and in this short video, I'm going to talk about the new ACD57. Let's take a closer look at the ACD57, the air control display by Air Avionics. It has a fully certified altimeter. It can control your radio and your transponder. And the biggest benefit of the ACD57 is it really saves on panel space. It only requires one 57 millimeter hole for three pieces of equipment. How do I change the radio frequency? I press the channel button. I change the frequency. We'll call it 135.5. And I press enter. That appears in the standby frequency in blue. And to activate it, we just press the enter button. How do we set a Q&H? We press the barrow button, adjust the Q&H as required. We call it 1020 and press enter. 1020 appears on the altimeter. How do we set the standard pressure setting or 1013? We press the barrow button, press the Q&E button, 1013 appears on the altimeter. Let's look at the transponder then. So currently we're showing 7,000 in out at uh, flight level 01. Well, that's because we're sat in my house, so we're not very high. But we're approaching the Oxford to Kidlington zone and they want us to squawk uh, 2550. Well, how do we do that? Well, we press the transponder button. We use the knob to change the squawk numbers. and then we press enter. You can now see that we're squawking 2550 in out at uh, flight level 01. Air traffic can now asked us to squawk ident. How would we do that? So we find our transponder button. On the right hand side it says ident, we press it. And you can see at the bottom right hand corner now, below 2550, it says ident. We're coming to the end of our service now and Kidlington wants us to squawk standby. So transponder button, mode button, it automatically puts it into standby. One of the additional benefits of the ACD57 is you can have a radio bridge and a transponder bridge linking your LX9000 and ACD57 together. So let's say I was getting low at uh, Bista Airfield, I could Select Bista Airfield, press the frequency button, and you'll see that the frequency arrives in the ACD57 in the standby. I then press enter to activate it. This time I'm going to show you how you can use the LX9000 to change the transponder code on the ACD57. Transponder mode, and I want to change the transponder to 2000. Press the code button, change the code, press OK, and you'll see that 2000 will appear on the ACD 57. One of the other useful things that the LX Nav Bridge does is take the altitude data from the LX9000 and put it straight onto your ACD57. So as you can see, I have the elevation and Q&H screen on the LX9000 on the left. Watch what happens when I press the OK button after setting a Q&H of 1029. Look at the ACD57. You can now see that 1029 has appeared on the ACD57. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Please get in contact if you need further information.